It's Maris. This is actually we're calling it Trash Talk. So perfect, Trash Talk. <laughs> this is Trash Talk with um, Kristen over at Jekyll and Brewery, and we're gonna take a little tour. There's so much to talk about back here. Uh, it all pretty much started off with like just being the first brewery in Nashville to actually do cans. They have some cool cans. Yeah. Look at the Lovebird. I just want to drink it because it's pretty. At this point, I mean, you probably saw all the cans walking in, but it's just like we are canning almost every other day now. On all of our cans, it'll say, it'll have a note that says like, hey, you please recycle. Mm -hmm. um, so it's kind of like a, that. It's like a hidden Easter egg on all of our yes. cans. Um, so we Can do we see it? Yes. Hey, you. Please, please recycle. recycle. Awesome. <laughs> please do that. <laughs> so we try to get as many of our customers as possible to recycle them. Um, but we do have, like I said, the pack techs uh, that come on top of these cans. We ask our customers to bring it back in. Um, it's not really used for them once you're done with the six pack, but we can reuse them. So that's all made out of 100% recycled material. The, the cardboard that we use um, at the bottom of all of our cans is made out of recycled material. So it's pretty so everything cool. is recycled. Yeah, everything. Even the beer, some, some might say. I know when you guys probably walked in, you saw the grain silo. That has eliminated so much like uh, brown bag waste for us um, because we used to literally make every beer by like having a grain bag over our shoulder, pouring it into the miller, like it would or the mill, like it would just be like so much work, so much weight. It turns out this is like an explosion proof room. Ooh. Uh, so this, <laughs> uh, so this is where uh, the silo actually comes in. Um, it goes through uh, here. I'm not quite sure what Josh is doing. We're making beer though. This is our uh, head brewer here. Um, but just like a quick look in. Yeah. So most of our grain uh, used to come in bags like these breeze bags. Um, now I'd say probably like 10% of our grain does. Um, just for like the different variants in beers, like whether you're making a wheat beer or a stout. Um, but with these bags right here that we get, we actually reuse these uh, for litter, litter pickups around the neighborhood with turnover grain. Cool. Um, so these actually turn into the bags that people will carry around the neighborhood and fill up with waste. Like little girl. So, yeah. so instead of throwing them out, we reuse them. We reuse them. Just a little. Love it. Nice. Just a little. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Josh. Sorry, Josh. You know, before uh, we even started doing cans, one step back as far as sustainability um, was definitely you can, you can come check all of this out. But this is actually the scent grain. All of this, instead of like, you know, being thrown into the trash or um, kind of just sitting around, we actually called up local pig farmers, like the very first batch we ever brewed. Um, called up local pig farmers and told them to take it. Um, and the pigs love it. Yeah. So this is like absolutely huge for us. Um, this is the third uh, box like this in existence. Uh, so what this is, this is a CO2 recapture system. And basically what it does is it converts, it captures the CO2, purifies it, uh, converts it back into liquid CO2, we store it until we need it to actually carbonate. So the fact that our CO2 is being created by our beer yeah. and not coming from a tank of some sort or anything, but the fact that you know that it's made by the beer is yeah. like uh, one of the best things. It makes the beer taste better to me. This one's sweet. Sorry, we got hidden signs up here. There you go. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. Yeah, I love it. Capture this here. Nice. Matt McConaughey. You know. He knows. You know Matt McConaughey. Yep. Good old here. Matt. Come on out, out here. here. Come on. Right. Um, so this basically is uh, like our log for um, everything that the production people will interact with. But we want to make sure um, that the most things are reused as possible. Um, we want to try to uh, keep it out of recycle, compost, landfill. Reuse is definitely the first option that you want to do. Um, so it's kind of like, you know, a guide to where to put everything. Yep. Yeah. Um, we also as well emphasize composting a ton. Um, definitely anything that was once alive, you can compost. Um, so paper, paper, so a bit of cardboard. Um, and then recycle. Even, uh, you know, we have a lot of uh, coffee shops around here in Wedgwood, Houston. Uh, so even like knowing to take off, uh, that you can compost the bottom of the coffee cup, uh, but you need to recycle the top is kind of an education piece that we've uh, yep. included here. So, and I love too that for landfill, these are the only three things that should really be going into the landfill um, from production. Mm -hmm. um, so it's important that that is, uh, that has the least things on it out of all four options. Yes. So, cool. This looks like a simple 
plastic logo. No, no, no. So it is, but it actually is compostable as well. So every cup that has a jackalope logo on it that looks like a plastic cup, you can actually compost it. Yeah, it's made out of like a plant-based resin, and you can tell. Um, I mean, the company itself actually says it's greenware, um, so their stuff is means it's made out of that plastic plant-based resin. But if it has our logo on it, it's going to be compost. So this is Trash Talk, Nashville, Zero Waste Nashville. We're just finishing up our tour with Jackalope Brewing um, with Kristen, which we are so appreciative of her giving us the inside scoop. But um, there's plenty of ways where we can all be helping out and Jackalope's definitely doing their part. So cheers. Cheers. The salute, Jackalope Brewing. <laughs>